There's no question, what, one of the critical ingredients of a vibrant innovation-based ecosystem is a really strong education system that continues to produce highly qualified, highly skilled students that then will populate a really deep talent pool, a really rich workforce. That's part and parcel of a vibrant uh, innovation ecosystem, and that's why it's such a top priority to this region, and frankly, all over the state. I mean, the language the innovation economy speaks is science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. And what we're not doing enough of is preparing our current students to be able to be conversant and master that language so they can contribute to this innovation economy as opposed to having to leave and go elsewhere. What we need more funding for is a couple of things. One is around the common core standards that are coming. That, that this is going to fix how we teach and what we teach and how we measure the results of what we're teaching. What we need to spend money on is making sure all our teachers know how to do this new method. The multiple choice tests are going away. How do teachers teach more relevancy? Something that we, we put in our bill to look at pre-K to about third or fourth grade and concentrate on those youngsters and getting into the home and creating curricula around that. The other one is to incentivize students in college to look at education as a, a field and then, then putting them into a program where all the curriculum is geared towards teaching STEM. And as we know at the leadership group, we need great early childhood education. It is truly cradle to grave in the lifelong learning that drives the region, state, and nation's innovation economy.